Hi and welcome to this Mocky Hound video tutorial. So for today I want us to look at targeting and specifically the chin target. So targeting is basically where we want the dog to make contact with an object using a certain part of his body. There can either be a nose target, it can be a paw target and in this specific instance we want a chin target. And what we are looking for is that when we put our hand out for the dog, he will come and he will place his chin onto the palm of your hand. And that is what he would target. He would target his chin onto the palm of your hand. So that is the chin target. So for this, we are going to use two training techniques. The first being luring, and then we're also going to introduce capturing. So when we look at luring, it is basically where we move the dog into position using food to start off with. So I want you to, to imagine this. If the food in your hand is tied to a thin little piece of rope to the top of your dog's nose. I'm not really going to do that, but just imagine that. In the beginning of luring, that little piece of rope is so, so short. So if you move your hand, that rope is going to pull your dog's nose in the same direction. Where people have a lot of problem with luring, the dog's nose is there, their hand with the treat is there, and they start moving it so fast that the dog doesn't actually um, follow the lure. <clears throat> so in the beginning, really imagine that little piece of rope, and as you move it, the distance between you and your dog's nose stays the same. If he stays stationary, you're not going to pull, you're going to start there, you might even bring the treat a little bit closer to have a little bit more effect and then start luring. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to lure our dog's nose over the palm of our hand and then capturing comes into play. And capturing is the second that he is going to put his chin on the palm of my hand, I'm going to use the marker word yes and then I'm going to reward him. So let's have a look at this. Okay, so let's start putting this into practice. Um, I'm going to use Clark, I'm going to set him up to my left hand side. And because it's on my left hand side, I'm going to use my left hand as the hand for the chin rest. And I'm going to lure him over my hand with my right hand. It just makes sense that if he's on the left, I use my left hand so that I can lure with the right. I'm just going to set him up. I'm going to lure again. I'm going to lure him with the food over my hand. Yes. And I'm going to capture with the yes the second that chin hits the palm of my hand. Be careful that you don't move the palm of your hand towards him. The whole idea is that he moves his head and his chin onto your hand. Yes. Four. I'm going to do another one. Yes. You can then introduce a little bit more pressure because what we are looking for ideally is a dog that would put full pressure of his chin onto your hand. So how we're going to establish that pressure is I'm going to pull him, lure him over my hand and then I'm going to drop the treat ever so slightly to below my hand. That will cause his head to really, really push down to try and get to the street. Let's have a look at that. Still going to use luring. And there I drop the treat. Yes. And I get a much stronger force from his chin. And I'm now going to change my marker, not to the second that he has his chin on my, my, my hand, but rather when there is a certain amount of pressure. Yes. Then you can start looking at thinking of introducing a verbal cue. And for the purposes of this tutorial, we will use chin. Chin. Yes. Chin. Yes. And then what you are looking for is that you do not have to lure him over your hand anymore that the verbal and the visual cues 
will be the indicator to him as to what behavior is going to be request, required of him. Chin. Yes. Chin. Yes. So now what we want to do, we want to start building a little bit of duration. So to do that, I am going to basically, once his chin is on my hand, I'm going to say yes, reward. Before he gets a chance to move his chin off the palm of my hand, I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to reward again. Um, and I'm going to try and give him three treats consecutively. Um, and then I will give the um, release cue break and throw a treat away. I'm going to try and work with two, four treats here. Two. Yes. 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 Break. That way. Two. Yes. 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 Break. Two. Yes. 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 Great. So guys, that is just the foundation so far from how you lure him over your hand, you capture it with a yes, then you start building a little bit more pressure, and then finally you start building on a little bit of duration.